Meanwhile, Communist China may be deploying an advanced new ballistic missile designed to specifically destroy U.S. aircraft carriers in one strike. U.S. Navy officials are reportedly very concerned about the so-called kill weapon. Kitty Pilgrim has our report. This satellite photo shows a North Korean rocket ready to launch sometime this week or next. Japan has mobilized its missile defense system and U.S. Navy ships capable of shooting down the North Korean missile, the USS Hopper, the USS Chafee, and the USS McCain are in the area. Concerns over the possibility of a missile attack is growing in a region that includes China, Taiwan, the Koreas, and Japan. Keep in mind that if the Chinese can hold our forces out anything close to 1,500 miles, even 1,000 miles, that puts all of our relatively short-ranged uh, surface Navy strike capability, Marines and so on, pretty much out of business. Even much more dangerous than the North Korean launch, according to the U.S. Naval Institute, an Annapolis-based think tank, is a new anti-ship ballistic missile developed by China that could strike U.S. aircraft carriers from a range of more than 1,200 miles. Experts say it's a blend of ballistic missile with honing capabilities like a cruise missile at a speed of Mach 10. No one else has this weapon right now. This is new. This is, it takes an integration of, of sensors to look down and see you, and then it takes the weapon to get into the area, which is the ballistic, and then it takes a reception system that allows it to make a target. So it's all of this coming together, and folks have not seen that before, and that's what makes it new and potentially very worrisome for U.S. Navy planning.